students welcome in advaita education channel today we are going to solve practice set 17.2 this is the last practice set from this chapter see first question the diameter pq and rs or of the circle with center c are perpendicular to each other at c state why arc pc and arc sr are congruent write the other arcs which are congruent to the arc ps now see here pq and rs are the diameters of the circle and they are intersecting at point c and c is the center of the circle now what you have to prove why arc pc means this arc arc pc and arc sq these two are are congruent you can tell me tell the reason why these two arcs are congruent and write the other arcs which are congruent to ps and write down the name of the other arcs which are congruent to this arc ps same question is written here first we will write down the given what is our given diameter pq diameter pq is perpendicular to the diameter perpendicular to the diameter rs this is your given you can write down in the bracket given now see these both diameters are perpendicular that's why p angle pcs 90 degree pcr 90 degree rcq 90 degree scq 90 degree means all angles are 90 degree these are the name of the angles and all angles are 90 degree now see measure arc ps now see this arc ps is equal to measure angle p c s arc ps is equal to measure angle p c s and what is the measurement of angle p c s 90 degree is equal to 90 degree hmm? therefore major r ps is equal to 90 degree now what you have to find the arc sq where is that arc sq hmm? now for major arc major arc sq is equal to angle q c s angle q c s for this arc which angle is made angle q c s angle q c s and angle q c s is also 90 degree means major arc major arc sq is equal to 90 degree now see arc pc is also 90 degree and arc sq is also 90 degree here uh, they want the uh, statement or you can prove that both the arcs are congruent hmm? here see both the angles arc are 90 degree means both are congruent therefore arc arc ps congruent to arc sq see both the arcs are congruent what is the reason if the measures of two arcs of a circle are same then the two arcs are congruent huh? see if their measurement are same then these two arcs are congruent now what you have to uh, write down write the other arcs which are congruent to the arc pc means arc pc ko aur kaun se arcs congruent hai uh, you can write down their names for arc now so just we have find out the measures of this arc means arc pc is 90 degree arc sq is 90 degree now see how to find the remaining these two arcs now see for major arc pr 
for this arc which is the included angle angle p c r angle p c r means major arc p r is equal to from for this angle sorry for this arc which is included angle p c r is equal to major angle p c r and p c r is 90 degree means major arc p r is equal to 90 degree again one more arc is remaining arc r q for this arc which is the included angle angle q c r for angle r q or q r which is the included angle q c r major angle of arc q r is equal to angle Q C R and angle Q C R is also 90 degree means major arc Q R is also 90 degree. Now you can write down for arc P C. Now which are the uh, remaining congruent arcs? These two are arc P R and arc Q R. Therefore arc ps is congruent with arc pr and is congruent to arc qr qr now question number 2 in the adjoining figure o is the center of the circle whose diameter is mn now see O is the center of the circle and MN is the diameter. Measures of some central angles are given in the figure. Hence find the following. Here some measurements are given. This angle is 100 degree. This angle is 135, 35. And you can find out the following. First, measure angle AOB and angle COD. Angle AOB. AOB means you can find out this angle and angle COD this angle I am marking with pen see you can find out these two angles I have denoted by the circle second to show that arc AB is congruent to arc CD means this arc AB and arc CD you can show these two arcs are congruent and third one to show that chord AB is congruent to chord CD. Now see. AB and CD are the chord. These two chords are congruent. You have to show. Now so let us start. Now see. MN is the diameter of the circle. MN is diameter. Diameter because of diameter this circle is divided into two equal parts. See this is one part. I am shaded with clear pencil. This is one part. Huh? The measurement of total measurement of the circle is 360 and half of 360 is 180. Means see this shaded part is totally half of the circle. Means this measurement of this is totally 180 degree. Now how this part is made? Major angle M O B this angle M O B plus angle B O N hmm? M O B plus B O M total is how much 180 hmm? why because both are the linear pair angles first I am writing their names see angle M O B plus angle B O N is equal to 180 linear pair angles now see here in the figure how many angles are given angle M O A plus angle A O B plus angle B O N. These three angles are given. 
Why this angle is divided into three? Because here you can find out the first measurement of angle AOB. You can write down the name angle, major angle MOA plus AOB plus BON. And same, half means their addition is 180 degree. Now put the measurements for angle MOB is given how much? 100 degree. 100 plus angle AOB is not given. You can write down as it is. Plus BON is given. BON is given 35 degree. 35 degree is equal to 180. 100 plus 35. 135 degree plus measurement of angle AOB is equal to 180 degree. Now this 35 is positive, it goes to opposite side. Negative means minus 135. 180 minus 135. 45 degree. Means angle AOB is equal to 45 degree. AOB is equal to 45 degree. Now similarly, you can see the unshaded part. Hmm? Means this portion. This is also exactly half of the circle. Means this is also 180 degree. Here also you can write down the same. First measurement. Again here angle M O C plus angle C O N. Which angles? Angles in linear pair. Here you can find out the angle C O D means here. Uh, addition of angle property means you can add the angle M O D plus angle D O C plus angle C O N and their addition is 180 degree hmm? and you can put the values M O D is equal to 100 degree plus angle M O D plus C O N is 35 is equal to 180 degree same as it is hmm? same वैसे ही करना है 1 100 plus 35 135 plus uh, major angle COD is equal to 180 this 135 is positive it goes to opposite side negative 180 minus 135 means angle COD is equal to 45 degree C first we have solved first what is given you can find out the measurement of angle AOB C AOB is equal to 45 degree and angle COD. COD is also 45 degree. Hmm? Now see. Second question. What, what is your second question? You can show the arc AB congruent to arc CD. Means where is arc AB? See. This arc AB and arc CD are the congruent. You can show these two arcs are congruent. Now see here. Arc AB. For this arc AB, which is the included angle, angle AOB. Hmm? See, measure arc AB is equal to measure angle AOB. See, for AB, which is a included angle, angle AOB. And angle AOB is how much? 45 degrees. Just we have find out. See, AOB is equal to 45 degree. You can give here equation number 1. And for angle COD, you can give here equation number 2. Means AOB is equal to 45 degree. This is your equation 3. And you can write down the reason from 1. Hmm? Measure arc AB is equal to 45 degree hmm? and now what you have to find arc CD now see for arc CD which is the included angle angle COD for arc CD which is the included angle COD means same major arc CD is equal to major angle COD and what is the measurement of angle COD see angle COD is equal to 
फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री मीन्स मेजर आर सी डी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री हियर यू कैन राइट डाउन फोर्थ फ्रॉम टू नौ सी You can show the arc AB and CD are congruent. Now see the measurement of arc AB forty five degree. Measurement arc of arc CD is also forty five degree. Means if the measurements of two ang uh, arcs are same, then these two arcs are congruent. Hmm? Therefore, arc AB is congruent to arc CD. Hmm? What is the reason? If the measures of two arcs of a circle are equal, then two arcs are congruent. See, their measurements are equal. That's why arc AB and arc CD are the congruent. Now, see what is our third question? Show that chord AB is congruent to chord CD. Hmm? Chord AB and congruent, uh, congruent to chord CD. You can show these two chords are congruent. See, there is a one property. We know that in a circle, congruent arcs have corresponding uh, chords are congruent. See, just we are shown in question number two, arc uh, AB and arc CD are congruent. Because of that, the chord C, because of arc AB, chord AB is formed, and because of arc CD, chord CD is formed. Hmm? See, this is the property. All of you learn this property. We know that in a circle. Congruent arcs having corresponding chords are congruent. Therefore, chord AB and chord CD are congruent. We have already shown in question number two, arc AB and CD are congruent. That's why if their uh, arc are congruent, therefore their chord is also congruent. Hmm? See, third one is also proof. Chord AB is congruent to chord CD. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel for more videos.